All right, so one that I thought about literally last night. Last night. Couldn't even get an answer. Answer. Try, Try to call. call. No, let me down. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Anyways, continue. No, Diddy. Let me tell you something. Oh, my. <laughs> you good? Yep. Sorry. You were saying? I never liked that song. Really? Yeah, I remember. That's like well, actually one of your few very... I remember that song to play. I'm going to shut up. <laughs> I, I just remember at the time, though, because uh, at that time, P. Diddy was very popular. And, like, he was trying to get, like, up with, his, with that album that just released, like, 20, uh, 2008, 2009? Okay. Something like that. And, uh, like, I just remember him saying, like, thank you to all the, all the DJs playing it in the club. Thank you to all the radio stations playing it. I was like, how much did you spend to play that whack-ass song? How, <laughs> how, much, how much did you pay all these motherfuckers? Because that song I tried to call. is not it. I stand on that. Wow. I'm going to be 10 toes down on that. You can like that song. I don't care. Good Ke- for Keisha you. Keisha Cole made the song. Keisha Cole, when you said made the song, made it better. Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah. I mean, like, she made the song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you were to I mean. say, like, like she made it, like, she produced it, yeah, I'm yeah. like, Keisha, that's how no, you best no, no. work. No, no, no. We need to go but back to But she made it. <laughs> but she never she made knew it. what I was missing. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, she did make the song better, but anyway, like, her was like spring for breeze on shit, still shit. <laughs> but you know, just like masking the smell, you won't smell the shit as much. Yeah, I guess it's you. Okay, um, so last night, last night. I just, I, I just thought, cause oh, I showed you, I showed you homeboy. Let me, let me pull him up really quick. Uh, doing the so long farewell. Uh, song, oh, the goodbye song from uh, oh, from out of the box. Out homeboy. Of the box. Today I got a job offer. No one cares about your TikTok Chinese My AI story. So, homie here did. What's his name? Goes by. Uh, Kawai Loa Productions. Homie's a beast. He's a little joker. Mm. Old boy would be around just, just finding random things to play drums on. Everything was a drum. In the box. Woo! So homie, Aye. homie's a legend. Uh, obviously from the islands, um, he's doing reggae mixes to a whole bunch of, of like childhood classics, right? Yeah. And he did this right here from the Disney Hercules. Homie's a legend, right? Hey. <laughs> Homie's a legend. I went through, I went through deep on this page and like hey. everything, but it got me thinking: Why are the soundtracks from late '80s to like the early 2000s Disney movies bangers? Like that, they are bangers. I don't know what like it's musically. It's like whoever. Was just in charge of that. Who had the ear of all ears? You know what I'm saying? Like, 
They are bops. Like another song from from Hercules was um No Chance, No Way, I Won't Say It, No No. Like Bro, like the church choir? If you went back and like watched or like just listened to all of them, it just feels well like I think the word for it is well orchestrated. Yes. I feel like someone's there just like Oh, absolutely. Like absolutely. You know what I mean? And it's all yeah, choir. It's very musically like like there's like very few songs. Not very few. But there's only very select songs that will hit me spiritually. Mm. In like in regards of just like on a spiritual level, spiritually. like I just feel good spiritually. Yeah. A lot Even of if like, it's like a sad song. A lot of gospel songs that that hits me, like church songs for me. Mm. But then another one like that's kinda up there, it would be like Kanye West from some of his symphonies. Mm. And then like Disney songs, whatever it is, like it's yeah. just the the harmonies, mm. the, everything the about melody, it the, the makes timing. it feel very well orchestrated to the point where I feel like it's just doing it spiritually. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Do not explain it. Yeah. But if you play all of the, like, come on, bro. That Hercules, the soundtrack. I can go the distance. Yeah. Just like, even, even like where it's placed in the movie, though, sets a tone, sets a bar for what's to come and where you're currently at. It, it's so... You know, Freaking good. You know who else has, and of course it's because who else has a good soundtrack, hmm. and it also hits up there for select songs. Um, a good portion of High School Musical soundtracks. No, I'll, yeah, you know, you know what I mean. So like, I, I was gonna do a completely separate thing for like Disney Channel yeah, movies, yeah, yeah. but the High School Musical and the Camp Rock series, yeah, go hard. Well, well orchestrated. Absolutely, Disney. Disney's money. They got their money's worth, oh. and it was for sure. Absolutely. On the music aspect. Hell yes. No, see. Because the <laughs> acting in Camp Rock. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Camp Rock. <laughs> Camp Rock. <laughs> Camp... No. But then when it hits the music, what? boy, <laughs> take that to church. <laughs> this is not the yard. <laughs> but then the moment. Camp Rock. Yeah, yeah. But once the music's out, they're over there just. Yeah, getting it on. Oh, oh shit. Bring it on. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, they, they popped off. Uh, but sorry, yes. Going uh, going yeah. back to the Disney animated movies. Disney animated movies. So uh, I did want to go through uh, a few of them. Of course, some of the classics, like Aladdin, we know has bangers. Uh, a whole new world defined a good new romantic world. generation, right? But then let's go to things like Lion King. Mm. Lion King's soundtrack mm. is crazy. Not just like, not just like, uh, to be made to be yeah, king. yeah, can't wait to be king or, Ooh, yeah, boy. <laughs> and he's jumping through the entire, the entire safari, yeah, crazy. But then when he's adult with Nala, can you feel the love? It was getting freaky. I'm like, God damn. <laughs> God damn, this is a kid movie? <laughs> yeah. God damn. The things that they used to get away with in kids' shows and movies. Hey, Phil Collins is already a good artist, but Tarzan Phil Collins was, he was. Oh, I wasn't going to bring it up. When he got, he was like, how much you paying me, Disney? <laughs> Boy went in. He was like, wow, Phil, I didn't know you, uh, you knew how to play drums. <laughs> Shit, for these many zeros, I'll play whatever you want. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. <laughs> let's, let's back this in real quick. That is hilarious. Um, what else? Who, who? So, hold on. I'm, I'm trying to pull up the list right now because I wanted to kind of go in order of the era. So, uh, order? so 1989, The Little Mermaid was released. That's 89? That's 89. Damn. Yeah, surprising. So, of course, yeah. like in The Little Mermaid, uh, the song that... Yeah, even with... I mean, not just Part of Your World. That's like the defining song of the movie, but... Um, uh, look at these things, and look at these things. <laughs> look at these things, and uh, look at these things. Look at these things. Sorry. But, 
uh, I don't know how f- familiar you are with the Little Mermaid soundtrack, but then there's um, Under the Sea. Under the Sea. Under the Sea. Under the Sea. And then there's... Down where it's winter. Down where Then there was, you know, it was funny because I was talking to, who was I talking to about that? Uh, Sebastian was, was a Caribbean crab. Like, he had no reason to be <laughs> Caribbean. Hey, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but we accepted it. It's just the way it was. But then there's uh, Kiss the Girl. My oh my. Well, the boy too shy. He want to kiss the, the girl. girl. <laughs> was that? Yeah. But um, yeah, there's Little Mermaid, 1991, Beauty and the Beast. Let me tell you something about. The, the, you know, I do like Beauty and the Beast. You know the song in the beginning where she. Be our gift. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. I hate that you did this, you fucker. <laughs> Well, because he does, he does have a stash. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I fucking hate you. Can I continue? I fucking Beauty hate you. Uh, you know the song at the beginning where she's running through the town and uh, everyone's, everyone's singing about what they're doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I was at Anime Expo, I think, in 2011? Mm-hmm. 2012, maybe? Me and Selena were there. And we went to um, the hall where they were doing karaoke. And there was one girl that did every single voice. And, like, she could, she could hold a note. But both of them and I were just like, this yeah. ain't it. <laughs> this ain't it. All right, now. Okay. You well, want to just put your finger right above your... I don't. I don't want to. <laughs> But I'm going to do it for you, you asshole. <laughs> what is he showing? I fucking hate you. <laughs> I fucking hate you. Cogsworth. That's his name. Cogsworth. Cogsworth was definitely his name. Don't worry, big dog. I'll be here. Here. We could, this is going to be, this can be our, this can be our, our Halloween costume. <laughs> What's the candle's name? Uh, Lumni- uh, Lumiere. Lumiere. Yeah, which means... You know, that's actually clever names. Yeah, and then Cogsworth Lumiere, yeah. As a kid, you don't get that. You know what's funny is I just watched Beauty and the Beast for the first time, like, I think three, four years ago. I've never the watched... live action? No, no, like the action. The animated? Yeah. Really? I never watched it full and through. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, pretty, pretty good. They're, I remember, like, years ago, they were doing all the uh, Disney conspiracies or, mm-hmm. like... The old animations, and they're showing where, um, what's his name, Gaston? He's dying, like he's falling off the cliff. And as he's fa- falling off, you see it zoomed in in his eyes, and there's like a skull in his eyes representing his death. I was just like, okay, okay, solid. All right, Disney. Yeah. Okay. After uh, Beauty and the Beast in 1992, there was Aladdin, which of course a whole new world. Riff raff, street rat, I go Oof. by that. That was 93? 92. 92, okay. Uh, 93 was Nightmare Before Christmas, which they, I don't think they had any songs. They did? What you talking about? I can't think of any. What's this? What's this? The magic in the oh, air. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> 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 the, fuck, the, the, the fuck, fuck is, is in the air? air. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That, you know? Yeah, Nightmare Before Christmas had a, had a few good songs, too. You know, I remember watching it for the first time, and I... I was just amazed at, like, it's, I, I don't even know if it's claymation, but stop motion. Yeah, yeah, stop, stop motion. motion. Yeah, I was yeah. just amazed at it. I was just like, wow, this is so different from what I'm used to. Yep. And then we did go uh, through uh, Lion King, of course, already. Yep. Uh, some of the Pixar, we got uh, Toy Story coming out in 1995. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Hunchback of Notre Dame. I don't remember any of the songs. I apologize. Sanctuary. That's the only line that I remember. <laughs> Sanctuary. <laughs> <laughs> Doom. Sorry. Continue. We talked about Hercules, but then comes Mulan in '98. Fa Mulan. <laughs> <laughs> Dishonor. Dishonor you. Of course, we have um, the the singer of of Reflection being. That's the that that's was, a rem- that was the pop version, bye, 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 the, ra- bye, bye. the radio release. Who was the, uh, the, the for the movie itself? Um, uh, what played during the movie was Leia Salonga, who sang uh, "Jasmine in a Whole New World." 
Uh, but the more outside you know. of that, outside of that, I'm just you know what? I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna play the song that that really that really just solidified a lot as. <laughs> uh, Let's get down to business. <laughs> you know, I have that written down, but that's not even the song either. Oh, it's still on Mulan. It's still on Mulan. Oh, okay, go for it. Do you, do you think you know what it is? God damn it. I yes. Yep. Hey, let me tell you. True to your heart by 90 degrees with <laughs> with Stevie Wonder. Baby, I know it was that you are Let me tell you. The roller coaster emotions that you're gonna deal with the last like 20 minutes of Mulan, right? Of getting like them storming it. Capture, getting captured, right? And then, oh, you restored, uh, you know, peace and respect to your family name. And then father finally accepts her. <laughs> They're all fine. And then closing scene, right? all the spirits are just gathered around thanking Mushu. And then that plays. Boy, I was it. We, <laughs> the Mitsubishi that we had, had the TV <laughs> in the back. Yes. Boy, every time we had the headphones on, I just couldn't wait to the end of the movie. Because just, just jamming. Oh, Cheer yeah. To your heart. Yes. I was like, ooh. Show to your heart. I heard, I heard again for the first time earlier this year. I was like, God, this is a banger. <laughs> My God. I was like, this is, this is a pop song. Pop. Oh, so good. <laughs> so good for sure. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that, yeah, that, whole, that whole soundtrack. Of course. Um, the credit scene is the only reason why I, I watched it all the way through because that song. Gets you through it, <laughs> man. I never wanted to play a harmonica more. <laughs> like when he did that, I was like, well, "Let me learn how to play." <laughs> how did he do that? <laughs> I don't think people understand how musically inclined you need to be to be able to master the harmonica. It's crazy, absolutely insane. But yeah, and then of course, um, uh, I'll make a man out of you. Mm-hmm. Uh, solid, just great. And then circling back. Uh, to Tarzan, 1999. Thank you. Damn, 99, huh? 99. Tarzan is actually one of my favorite movies. Yeah, oh, absolutely. And it was actually released the same year as uh, Toy Story 2. Interesting. Yeah. So hold on. Let me go to the Tarzan, the Tarzan soundtrack really quick because we got to give respect. Tarzan? We got to give respect to Jane. where to where this. <laughs> Jane? Tarzan. Tarzan soundtrack. Um, track. There we go. Because Phil Collins, I think, did the entire soundtrack. Man, did the entire soundtrack. Uh, You'll be in my heart. You'll of course. In my heart. Of course, that's got to be there. Uh, the um, the the trash in the camp song. Oh yeah. Oh, I had that in the car too. Have my plastic fork and knife ready every time that scene came on. <laughs> yeah. In the that back pocket of the front seat. Spot. Start drumming it up. Oh yeah. Like... Oh, yeah. Uh, strangers like me. Oh. Son of a man. Oh yeah, like this this whole It's so good. This whole thing is so good. Okay, yeah, so that's 99. Um, then start getting into, like, the the Emperor's New Groove in 2000. That one didn't really have any songs. Lilo and Stitch, I think, was was carried by Elvis. Yeah, yeah, Elvis yeah. Presley, because that was, like, a, a big yep. thing about yep, it. Yep, 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 yep. Um, then we get into, like, Jungle Book 2 and stuff. So it, it starts getting, it's like, less singy, songy in the movies. But I want to circle back to one of my favorite Disney movies of all time. Soundtracked. Just top tier. Uh, you, can, you can't... You know it's good when they hire an actual singer to, to do the songs, mm-hmm. especially of the, uh, like of the character in the movie. And a goofy movie. I, you know what? I knew it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we did talk about this. Yeah, a yeah, goofy yeah. movie with the all-star power line who was supposed to be like the Michael Jackson of the universe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Voiced by 
Mr. Can we talk for a minute? Tevin Campbell himself did those songs. To know <coughs> your name. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, he did uh, the song Eye to Eye in the final like concert. Like, like um, what do you call it when it's at the peak of the movie? The climax. The climax. Thank you. Why can't I think of that? It's fine. I was thinking of it too. I was like, no, he got it. Yeah. <laughs> But then at the beginning of the movie, where 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 uh, Max does his impersonation type thing, mm -hmm. you know, hijacks the stage and sings uh, "Stand Out." That's my personal favorite song of the movie. "Stand Out," I think, is better than "Eye to Eye." You can argue with me in the comments. But then just songs from the movie itself, being on the open road, Ooh. out on the open road, mm -hmm. or high hopes, high hopes, high hopes, like. They even played Staying Alive in the movie. Did you know that? When? I forget what scene, but uh, it, it is a part of the movie uh, where I think they're clipping through the radio, maybe. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. But Goofy Movie, when was this released? Goofy Movie was, was released 1995. 95. One of my, one of my, if not my number one Disney movie. Like, Disney animated movie not including pixar yeah, yeah but honestly i think for me it beats out a lot of pixar movies like yeah, i think it beats them all for me i think it is my number one overall okay so i'm just saying like disney channel or not even disney channel disney movies disney animated movie songs of the 90s early 2000s i think it was just that was the pocket for them it was, it was really just a pocket of like basic storyline but in the middle of like right before the climax that that just that flat line of story making you yeah. have like three or four sessions of just good sing songy yeah. storyline then the climax another thing and like you know like but now it's i think after the 2000s after 2000s hit there's just more storyline yeah you know what i mean? mean like it was just more storyline less singing songies no i get that because uh here let me go back to the to the list here getting into the 2000s I right, said Lilo and Stitch. Um, we had the Return to Neverland, the the sequel to uh, Peter Pan, Monsters Inc., um, Treasure Planet, which oh, I think is Treasure slept Planet. on. Hey, man. Jungle Book Two, Piglet's movie, Brother Bear. Brother Bear was deep. Brother Bear hit deep. How was Moving Castle? Was oh, yeah, technically that. I think Disney. it was distributed by Disney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. uh, Incredibles. Two thousand six is Incredibles, right? Uh, two thousand four. Four. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Bambi two cars is two thousand six. The wild tales from Earth Sea. I don't think I watched that one. Meet the Robinsons. That one was deep too. Meet the Robinsons real is fire. Yeah, uh, Ratatouille. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Anybody <laughs> can be a chef. <laughs> Wally, you know, no. uh, Bolt up. Of course, up was. Up told a better uh, love story <laughs> within the first five minutes than Twilight did in four, <laughs> four or five movies. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's crazy. But but then it kind of started going back to the sing songy type stuff in uh, the late two thousands, twenty tens, because they had Princess and a Frog in two thousand nine. Yeah, okay. And then Tangled. Tangled, hey, Tangled, banger, bro. Good. Tangled Great. is actually a banger. Great movie. Uh, Brave. Uh, mm -hmm. Cars 2 wasn't really singing. Uh, Winnie the Pooh in 2011? Oh, okay. They did a movie in 2011? Okay, say less. Uh, Monsters University in 2013. But then Frozen, of course. Um, that was... Oh, yeah. <sighs> defined. I think that's when... I the think next that's generation. I think that's what started the singing songies. Again. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Even, yeah. Th even though uh, Tangled was 2011... Uh, let it go. Play oh, but, but, but it on pop the, radio, dog. But between the two, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. That's also yeah. That yeah. that for sure. I never radio. heard a, a a tangled song. No, play on the radio. It had it, tangled's just underrated. But like yeah. with with Frozen, that was for sure breaking. Like it was. Yep. All across the board. Let it go. Let it, let it go. go. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. They yeah, sure yeah. did. Um, this one wasn't sing songy, but Big Hero Six was. Honestly, I really like it. Oh yeah, yeah. Great. They should do uh, Big Hero Seven. <laughs> yeah, eight. I don't know. Eight, whatever you want to call. It. I don't yeah, know. Just, just make another Big Hero Six, please. Yeah, but then uh, 
Zootopia wasn't really singing, neither was Finding Dory, but Moana. Moana. And Coco. Coco was for more of the cultural and Moana yeah, but was more princess. Remember me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had Miguel sing the pop version, bro. <laughs> Having Miguel sing the pop <laughs> version is wild. <laughs> I mean, Miguel is a is is a top tier vocalist. Yes. But for having him <laughs> sing the pop version is Coco? wild. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. But then, uh, what was the most recent one? Um, Encanto. Encanto was solid as well. 2021. That, that, I think, soundtrack, I mean, we don't talk about Bruno. That was, I think, just as big as Let It Go. Because that was played on pop radio also. Yeah. I was like, this is playing on 102.7. <laughs> 102.7. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> but, yeah. yeah Kanto, Kanto was, was solid. Yeah, and Kanto was good. I, I honestly really solid. liked it. Um, and then we're getting into, uh, uh, these movies haven't even been released yet. Did Moana 2 come out? No, not yet. Yeah, it's, it's dated for, for this year. Uh, Inside Out 2. It's goddamn. Uh, Toy Story 25. Let it go. I was going to say 25. <laughs> <laughs> let it die. <laughs> let well, the toys there. They can't die. No, yeah, no. But, but, but still, but come on, die. guys. Come on. Please. I think we get the story now. <laughs> yeah. We got it. We got it. <laughs> but yeah, o- overall, I just, D- Disney, Disney movies back then, just top tier. It was uh, a time to be alive. For sure. It was, oh, yeah. And, and for it to have, like, at least some kind of impact on you, like, as a kid. Hell you know yeah. what I mean? Hold like, on. That's, like, wild to, to go through. Hold on. I, wa- I just want to go through. We're going to give quick, um, quick little backgrounds to some of these movies. Because they taught you life lessons. They taught you life lessons. For instance, Little Mermaid. It's not always greener on the other side. Sometimes just wetter. <laughs> Sorry, I had to say it. <laughs> <laughs> not always greener on the other side, but it, it shows like, hey, if you leave everything behind, or a chance, it could pay off. Could pay off. Uh, I would say Aladdin and a Goofy movie were kind of the same. Stop acting like someone you're not, and yeah. be you. Be you. I mean, a lot, a lot of the movies was really a be you type of like, you know, like be, that's true. Be proud of who you are, or like know who you are. Yeah, you know? uh, yeah. Knowing you who you are is actually good for Lion King, because that was a story of discovery. Yeah, of of fighting through trauma and showing that running away from it doesn't solve the problem, mm-hmm. and a lot of the times, just like in the movie, makes the problem worse. And also, if you grow up fatherless, you could also be king of the jungle. Not really the jungle, but all right. (laughs) (laughs) The Sahara. Yeah, well, I don't know. He said king of the jungle, so. (laughs) True. King of the land. King of the land, yeah. Uh, Mulan. Remember, be true to yourself. She, she, was, she knew she was a badass bitch from the oh, beginning. Oh, she knew. She, all she had to do was just cut her hair, hide them titties away, and act like a man. <laughs> no, I, I think is what's more important of a message is for Mulan, standing up for what you believe in. Because she, even though against the law she wasn't able to yeah. join the army, that's what I'm saying. Fight, yeah. You know, like even if it's wrong, but like like socially it's wrong, but you know it's right. Like be ten toes on it. Like it is what it is. Uh, Tarzan, uh, you don't need parents to. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So easy, <coughs> two gorillas can do it. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I mean, even, even movies nowadays still have those deeper messages, but the way that a story is executed now, 
is it's not the same. I mean, obviously, time has changed. Culture becomes more sensitive For, or more aware. Well, I, don't, I hate to use the word propaganda, but like the agenda of a movie most nowadays sometimes is a lot yeah. different. It's different now than how it was before. Oh, absolutely. There, there is, there really is a narrative that gets pushed in yep. in movies nowadays. As to where back then, it is a little bit more like. Not, a, I don't want to say lighthearted, but it just. How the hell is that balancing on your arm? Yeah, just bouncing around. <laughs> this whole time, it, it, I figured it out. All right, but, um, yeah, movies back then, the way that they're just executed, I think it's both complex but very easy to understand. Yeah. So, I mean, again, they were in their bag. They were in their bag. 80s, 90s, they were in there. Yeah, they, Disney was in their bag. I feel or, like they just had it ready, and they were like, just wait till the 90s happen. Yeah, just... <laughs> Oh, you, this mug out. <laughs> you like Snow White in the 50s, right? <laughs> Actually, when was Snow White? <laughs> what was Snow White? <laughs> I need to go back on this. Hold on, wait a minute. Snow White was like, yep. Yeah. 60s? Back? 20s? It's further. It's uh, uh, 37. I see Snow that. White, the Seven Dwarfs was the 37. Pinocchio was the uh, 1940. Same thing with Fantasia. Dumbo was 41, Bambi remember, was 42. I remember Fantasia. Fantasia, when did Fantasia come out? Fantasia was uh, 1940. 1940, and they did like a remastered one or something like that? I think so. I remember. Yeah. Because. I remember that being a big thing also. I was in the movie theaters, like in wheelchair. Uh, what did I say wheelchair was? <laughs> I'm sorry. No, 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 no. It wasn't that. I was in the, uh, it was a field trip. There you go. Field trip with my class. I think it was like fourth grade, maybe? Fifth grade? No, I think like third or fourth. I just remember going to the theaters to Edwards, watching Phantasma? Fantasia? Fantasia. Fantasma. I think uh, some. Some. And I remember that was the first time I ever fell asleep in the movie theater. I think it was so boring. <laughs> As a kid, I needed yeah. stimulation. That was boring. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, fa- fa- Fantasia? Fentanyl? Fantasia. Fantasia. My dyslexia sucked. <laughs> uh, Fantasia 2000 was oh, released okay. in 1999. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, the reason why I, I had to hold my breath, because on this list I saw uh, Song of the South. Do you know what Song of the South is? Mm-mm. Is this a slavery movie? Oh, okay. It's, uh, Song of the South is about, um, about a man who is a slave who lives mm-hmm. on a plantation and... Talks about how he loves living on the plantation the way he's doing. Yeah. Propaganda. Just like that old um, animated thing of um, Nazi Donald. I remember that one. So do I. Huh. They don't want us to remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if we end up missing, guys, just know this video is still going live. (laughs) Download it while you can and let it live on. Don't let us be forgotten. <laughs> yeah. I just, I, just, I just had to go through this whole rant because, like, even now, subconsciously, like, when I'm by myself or something, I'll sing a Disney song to myself, like, yeah. do, doing something random. You have never seen any of the movies that we talked about. Highly recommend watching it. I'm fairly sure all of them, except for Song of the South, is on... Uh, is on Disney Channel. <laughs> or not Disney Channel, Disney Plus. Well, here's the thing. Disney Plus is now showing Hulu content. So there's... <laughs> there. <laughs> like, I could watch a scary movie, like an R-rated scary movie on Disney Plus. But of course, there's like a TV rating. So you got to make sure like if it's when your kid's profile. When did that happen? When did, when did Hulu they, get bought out by Disney? Not They did like a merge. It was like uh, earlier this year. But it made it like... It was like official like soon. Oh, so like, look, God. I could watch literally Shogun. On Disney Plus. <laughs> that's crazy. So that's right, guys. Disney, uh, we are. <laughs> Disney Plus is sponsoring this video. <laughs> I wish Disney was sponsoring our videos. Um, what we was I going to say? Oh, videos. you said Songs of the South? Song of the South. Song of the South. I, no, I highly doubt it's on there. If it's on there, I would, I would lose my mind. I know. Yeah, I didn't think so. But they do have Django. <laughs> if they had Django, that'd be upsetting. 
All right, I think that's enough for this episode. We're about 30-ish minutes in. Ratu, what would you say was your favorite Disney movie? Not Disney Channel, just Disney movie growing up as a kid. Mm. Think, you can leave it up to a tie. No, I think Tarzan would be up there for me. Tarzan? Yeah. Tarzan was solid. Tarzan. I even had the, the Game Boy game, Tarzan. The side-scroller one? No, no, no. Like the actual like, Game Boy? The like, Game no, Boy not, was... Not the Game Boy, but the, the game for Game Boy. Yeah, where, Tarzan. where he's like bouncing from platforms. It, it, it was kind of like Super Mario. Yeah, yeah, platforms and like vine to vine. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I got you. I uh, know Tarzan. Yeah, Tarzan was the. I think that's up there for me. Nice. For me, it would definitely. I was gonna give it a tie. Uh huh. Uh, but I said earlier, I'm gonna stay ten ten toes on it. Um, it's gonna be uh, a goofy movie, mm-hmm, of course. But uh, second place is a tie between. Um, uh, Aladdin and um, Hercules. I would put Hercules at two for me, and I think it's very close between yeah. between the yeah. two. It's close. See, as a man, what I am, what we are, uh, Hercules just speaks to our manly urges of wanting to get, wanting to be a done. Greek Greek god. You know, to make our way into Olympus. You know, see. Zeus! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, uh, Hercules would definitely be up there. Nice. All right. Well, if you guys want us to do uh, a whole other rant for Disney Channel specific movies, like which High School Musical was the best? Oh, I would say two, then one, then three. I would. Uh, I'm not even going to argue this right now. I'm, we're going to say that for our next episode. Because, <laughs> boy, that, that list is... What? Two, one, then three? Uh, one, two, three? I'm, I, it's, it's very How close between... How is three last? Oh, maybe I need to rewatch it. Oh, we need to rewatch it for sure. Because if you, if you watch all three in order, you're going to realize... Okay, I'm not going to spoil it. Guys, thank you for watching. Oh, so remember okay, I remember. Uh, all right, I'll, I take back what I, sa- I said. I got to go my own way. <laughs> what about us? <laughs> no, 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 no. What's the... Uh... <laughs> That's the pool. The pool. I'm not giving up. Not going to stop doing it. Bed on it. Bed. Is that, is that three? <laughs> no, that's two. That's two, right? Okay. Better, Two has more memorable ones for me, but I think you're right. Three does have a it has more of an uplifting chorus, which I do like. So I think maybe two, three, then one. But I, two just sticks with two, me. Two, three, and one. Two sticks out to me the most. I, I, I will say two did come out at a really good time. Yeah, I think that's the only reason. Mm, I, you know, <laughs> but it's, 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 bid on We're going to talk about it in the next episode, guys. Make sure you subscribe <laughs> for more content. Uh, give us a thumbs up. We're trying to beat the algorithm. Get uh. You know, get some love. Show, show us to everybody. Let us know what you want to talk about, what you want us to talk about in the next episode. Ratu, any closing words? No, I don't, actually. All right, then. We'll see you in the next one. Peace, y'all. Deuces. <laughs>